the bold the boldest the, bo the current economic reality in nigeria has triggered the need for self-production as food farming is now an important activity in all primary and secondary schools in oshimili local government area of delta state a member representing the oshimili south state constituency in delta state house of assembly honorable Bridget Anyafulu made this known on Sunday at the NUJ Press Center during the journalist hangout. Honorable Bridget said, food farming from the grassroots will not only create farming awareness, but boost food supplies in the state. Adding that the teachers are to be appreciated for their critical roles in the shaping of characters of the children. I've been able to work with my people. First, I've been able to establish with my people the school farming. It has become very imperative that young people also know, even in the primary school and secondary school level, understand that they also have the capacity to make food available in their different homes. So it became very imperative for me to go hand with them very critical uh, stakeholders meeting with schools to see how we can make our schools better to engage the young people make them participate in planting and then watch them they will watch their crops all that they have planted grow before their very eyes which is happening in ocean the south a uh, primary schools and the secondary schools and i've had meetings critical meeting with critical stakeholders in education like I have done, part of the uh, projects I are doing, to also engage the teachers to find out what the problems are. Because the teacher has taken this or her time to bring out the best of that child. At the end of the day, God takes the glory. But most times we don't remember the role the teacher has played in forming the, the character of the children. They helped in forming our character. They helped in bringing us to where we are today. So having meetings with them, to encourage them, even if we don't give them more money, but let us appreciate the good work they have done in our lives and the life of the children that are with them. As part of her constituency responsibility, Honorable Bridget Anyafulu is ensuring the free registration of market women into the free contributory health scheme of Delta State. She said, I've also had critical meetings with the critical stakeholders in health. We have uh, primary health centers in Oshibile South. I've had meetings with all of them and then identify that few local uh, wards do not have uh, primary health centers like Ward 8, Ward 4, and um, we have new uh, environments like across this uh, summit. Uh, I call for across the road safety, Bonsac, all these places, 74, many of these places need primary health center. Request of building primary health care centers in some words, encouraging the technical colleges in skill acquisition, reading culture by reintroducing into school quiz competition, facilitates road maintenance amongst others. And then I am from Oshibili South and then um, um, Oko is my constituent. So, uh, for many years we've had issues of the road in Oko, and it became obvious to me that uh, Oko Road is not just Delta State Road. Oko Road is uh, also a federal road because most of the foods we have in Oko uh, ends up in uh, Abuja, and I'm sure some of them enter the villa because we have a lot of food there. And so it's not going to be all Delta State affair because it's part of the song. So by June this year, um, uh, working with NDC and some other people, the budget for Co Road was um, uh, fixed at the national. And I came back to report to some of my leaders that um, that Co Road will be in the national budget. Um, and uh, it is my chairman of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Delta State Council, Comrade Chachi Loyowe, commended Honorable Bridget Anyafulu for her 
immense impact in the state's development, why some journalists raised concern. This is exclusive on the Borders TV show. I am Esther Damnes. Thank you for watching. The bold, the boldest.